What's up, guys? Guys, this is going to be a doozy. This is going to be a doozy right here. And it's a little bit off topic of trucking. I know that's what you guys come here for, but I, I do like to talk about other things. So this is going to be a doozy right here. So definitely stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. We've learned our languages through the World Wide Web. This TikToker right here, which is a very popular TikToker, at one point she had millions of followers. Her account, her first account got banned. I think TikTok took it down because of all the flags, all the hate, all the, all the um, criticism that this uh, creator was getting. TikTok banned her page, but yet she came back with another one and steady growing. But she made a recent video, and I'm not sure how recent this video is. So shout out to my guy, Chisu Zed, for covering this particular story. In this, in this video right here, she claims that she had a STD. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Eva, if you, if you are sexually active and you know that you have an STD, then you need to inform people of that. Because when you don't and you infect that person, you are changing their life forever and they are making a decision that they do not know. Like this shit is going to change the rest of my life. And there's nothing I can do. And I'm embarrassed. And I'm humiliated and I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid for letting someone take advantage of me in a moment of weakness. But I did not consent to this. And I'm going to get justice for myself. Because there have been so many times in my life where I haven't. And this is not fair. And I refuse to let anybody else feel like this if I can help it. There you guys go. That's the video right there. And stop the show. Hold on. Hold on for a minute. Now, I want to say that I'm not insincere or inconsiderate of her situation of catching an STD. That's the <laughs> that's the consequences that we face when we have unprotected sex. And it runs rapid in the corn industry or in the industry of OnlyFans, or if you're uh, sexually active, that's the risk that some, some of us wanna take, especially when we're in the industry of having sex without protection. Okay, let's get back at it. Okay, so there you have it. Unfortunately, she came across an STD. We don't know what it is. It could be anything. You know, majority of STDs these days can be rectified with just penicillin. Some of them could be worse, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you, you got to be protected. You got you to gotta protect yourself against unauthorized people that come in your life when you're in this sector of the industry there's many a guys that's coming in this industry that's not that that hasn't taken the test even though they're supposed to it's mandated in some states i believe in california if i'm not mistaken it's mandated in california but i'm too to believe that this young lady is from texas but what makes this so strange this is the same lady that does tiktok breast well I, I'm, I'm sorry i can't say the word body part feeding with her kid she has a whole kid with her whole breast out 
Now, of course, I made a reaction video where I said, You're an artist. Yeah. Are you good at it? Excuse me, ma'am. 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 You're on a public forum breastfeeding a five-year-old kid. Shouldn't he uh, already be sipping out of a sippy cup right about now? Now, in that TikTok reaction right there, I had a lots and lots of pushback. Some of them was pushing back real hard on the fact that they was coming after me saying, oh, well, body part feeding is the natural thing. Why you on here talking about body part feeding? My, the, the, best, the best comment that got the most uh that got the most reactions from is from this truck driver i'm not even sure if she's a truck driver anymore i don't know but she reached she commented and she says that's a toddler eating lunch if that offends you somehow the problem is you i and i came back and i respond with a with another video where i said so you over here saying that I'm offended. <laughs> it bothers me. It's a problem. I'm the problem. What I can't I, I can't react to the videos like you guys do? Come on now. It don't bother me at all. I'm just saying, if this platform wasn't available, you know, it, it, we wouldn't see it, right? But I'm not talking about the fact that the young lady is breastfeeding. I'm talking about the fact that the kid looks big enough to be on a sippy cup. That's my opinion. You know, maybe the kid is two, maybe the kid is three or whatever the case. But in my opinion, in my assessment of, of the video, the kid should be on a sippy cup. That's all. But if the lady wants to come on here and show her big breast itself for attention, like all y'all do on this app, then go for it go for it that's all it is attention again you know to reiterate on what i just said in the in the react or the response video on the response video is the fact that i didn't care about what she was doing like i don't care what all you guys do on this bum app majority of the stuff that you guys do on this app is for attention period period there's a lot of scams that goes on this app there's a lot of professional beggars on this app there's a lot of female thirst trappers on this app that's all this app is for it was initially this app was for kids but from 2022 to now it just has been a trash app period trash that's all this on there trash you gotta go through a sea of trash to find a diamond in the rough type video it's that i mean that's how it is in real life like you don't come across that diamond unless you gotta go through a whole bunch of garbage you gotta go through a whole bunch of nonsense and that's what this app is about a whole bunch of trash people over here sleeping people over here just staring in the camera people over here just begging begging for attention if this app was not available i guess you guys will go back to the tried and to facebook which y'all couldn't y'all couldn't push y'all agenda or narrative on that so now this TikTok makes it a lot more easier for you to catch eyeballs, for you to catch comments, for you to catch accolades, for you to catch people all over the world that probably don't have nothing else better to do but to send you some money for whatever the case may be. And I'm just saying money. But let's get back on topic, though. So again, 
What this young lady did or does is none of my business. But yet she did come in the previous uh, video that, uh, that you guys heard. Now she has an STD. Now, listen, let me stop the show. I don't know if this is for clout because that's what it is. You, you, you have a hard time believing people on this app because they come and do a lot of stuff just for clout. Hey, I got an STT. I mean, I got an STD. Let me just get everybody on my side and yada, yada, yada. And then in real life, you don't have STD. You, you just scammed everybody on the platform. But again, my thing was this, man. She's an adult entertainer. And I didn't come to find out until I did a little bit more digging. I went into the comment section of the video that you guys just heard that I that I made the reaction to. Come to find out, not only that she has a TikTok, a YouTube, but she also has OnlyFans and a Twitter account. Now, of course, OnlyFans, you know, that's where she do all of her adult content at. You know, all of her corn stuff is over there on OnlyFans. But on her Twitter, <laughs> Twitter is a whole different type of beast. If you guys do not have a Twitter account, I implore you to get yourself one and look up this young lady. All right. Look it up. She's all on Twitter showing it off. She got she got body part Tuesdays. Uh, uh, pee popping Saturdays, uh, mon boring Mondays. I mean, she got it all on her on her on her Twitter. It's more her Twitter is more like more like a a, a, a trailer for what she actually do on OnlyFans. Now, not only that, she does a lot of you know body you know a lot of self masturbation and stuff like that. But she also has some actors. Now, I'm not sure. Don't quote me because I'm not sure if it's on her OnlyFans. But she do have a corn site that she regulars to. Okay. So maybe, you know, the person or persons that she was getting down with that gave her the STD was for the corn site that she was posting to. Now, not, now, not to say that this young lady is not making no money. I'm sure she's making money hand over foot, especially if you're an OnlyFans creator. I, I wouldn't imagine you not making uh, a substantial amount of money, you know, doing what you're doing. I mean, you know, you're a BBW. You have some oversized, you got oversized body parts that's, that uh, that's very attractive to men in particularly me yes uh, I'm, I'm, I'm attracted to i'm attracted to big body part women not that damn big though you know but her stuff is huge <laughs> okay her stuff is huge like real huge okay but she has she has her baby not just that I don't know how old the baby is. All I just know is that the baby is big enough to be on the sippy cup. That's that's my whole thing from from the takeaway I got. I'm I'm just saying, you know, baby is big enough to be on the sippy cup. Ladies, if you if you are body part feeder, and I don't have a problem with that because that is a beautiful thing between you and your baby to bond. But my question to you is this: what is the cutoff? What is the cutoff? What is the age? What is what is the cutoff? Because some ladies in the comment session says the cutoff is at 10, cutoff is at 15, <laughs> cutoff is at 3. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the cutoff is. Like, I'm not sure if I was ever breastfed uh, or, or body part fed back in the day, but my son unfortunately he wasn't body part fed he had 
he had uh he was on Similac. And let me tell you, stop the show. Similac is not cheap. That milk is not cheap. And you want to know something else? Not only that it's not on the counter accessible to the public, you got to literally go up to the customer service and request it. It's like Fort Knox when it comes to that uh, product right there. Similac? Woo! And I mean, I know I used to spend hundreds I couldn't, I, I couldn't wait for my son to start eating regular and drinking milk. <laughs> but uh, let's get back at it. So more digging that I did with this young lady right here. Uh, again, like I said, not only that she has OnlyFans, but she does have a corn site, a Twitter and YouTube and TikTok. You know, she's real, real, real popular on TikTok. Again, her her millions of followers first account got banned but i come to find out with a little bit more digging that she is married she got a whole husband yo and for you as a husband seeing what your wife is going through and 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 the attack saying she's going too far what is that like for you i mean I I've been raised to mind my business, you know what I mean? So, I, I, But you've got to feel something for your wife because oh, you know I mean, she's I, reading all of those negative yeah, comments. I, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, what I don't understand is how people don't understand the normalizing of breastfeeding. I mean, it's, it's just breastfeeding. It's not like it's something that's sexual or anything of that nature, right. you know what I mean? And it seems like they're trying to, they're uh, trying uh, to stand on a platform of sexualization, and I don't understand that. You know what I mean? Feed my son. <laughs> you know I mean? So, Preston, what do you have to say? Uh, no comment. <laughs> He's like, as long as I'm full. <laughs> uh, man, bro, bro was flabbergasted in, in his response. Uh, everybody try to, you know, make it out of sexualization, which it is. Which it is. She made it into sexualization, sir. She made it that. Some, if you guys don't read between the lines, a lot of her content that includes her baby, breastfeeding, I mean, body part feeding. In the next clip or so, she talks about something sexual. In the next clip or so, she's promoting her OnlyFans and her corn sites and her Twitter. So how is that not sexualizing? I mean, you're promoting, you're using your baby, which is a normalizing thing to do. You know, I mean, body part feeding is a normalization. Let's normalize it, okay? I don't have a problem with it. It's a beautiful thing. But if you, trying to normalize body part feeding while at the same time trying to promote your sexualized content then that's where the problem comes in at now of course maybe you don't see it maybe you don't understand it maybe you do see it and maybe you do understand it and you just using this to fuel more eyes on you as they always say, negative publicity is the best publicity. That's what it is. Nothing positive publicity never pushes the envelope. It's always negative publicity. You want to know why? Because when somebody talks negative about you or about what you do or anything like that, that just gets more and more and more people interested in what the hell you're doing. Now, if there was a lot of people just being positive about it, like, oh, this is positivity, pop positivity, pop, pop, pop positivity, then nobody ain't going to be interested in it. Well, maybe a handful of people, but not, not the whole world. Not the whole world. Because when you walk the walk of positivity, nobody ever notices it. 
There's nobody taking no pictures of you. There's nobody breaking the cell phone cameras out on you. There's nobody ever, uh, ever wondering what you're doing. But as soon as you start walking the walk of negativity, the whole world stops. And they want to know what you're doing. Let's take some celebrities right now. We we don't know what Kim Kardashian is doing. Her and Kanye ain't together no more. Right? We, we don't know what she's doing. But as soon as she opens her mouth and says something stupid or something controversial and somebody was there with a camera or audio equipment to capture it, boom, she will become relevant. She will become relevant and people will start to take notice. This like this young lady right here. Maybe she died down just a little bit just to come back to make that controversial STD, STI video because sometimes you can't. You got to watch what you say on YouTube. You know, YouTube has a thing about words that you can say. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I got a question before I get on up out of here. Here's a whole husband. Now I know not I know you guys are gonna be like lockout, you know, there's married couples in the industry. And I get it. There's married couples in the industry. I get it. I've been there. I've I've been watching corn since since I was a youngin'. So I know about uh couples power couples that's in the industry okay but i always thought to myself that how especially if the husband is not in the industry now if the husband is in the industry then i get it i understand it you know maybe that you know that's how that's how people meet within their industry you work in the corporate industry you're going to meet a corporate guy or a corporate woman you in the corn industry, you're going to meet a corn guy or a corn woman. You in trucking, you're going to meet a trucker guy or a trucker woman. I understand. But if you're not in the industry, then how does that make you feel watching your wife, your whole wife getting dead down by a few hundred dudes i mean their body fluids is all over this young lady like how can you actually watch her go through a gangbang scene and then go in the bathroom and then just wash it off like oh it's just another day at the job and then come home to you sir at the end of the night with all i mean i know she took a shower but it's still on there <laughs> you saw it you can't unsee it you can't unsee it you, you you've seen the money shot plenty of times in her face on her body parts maybe inside of her which is the only way you're going to catch an std or sti how does that make you feel going home at the end of the night and going to bed I mean, can you still get, I don't know, affection, aroused, knowing in the back of your mind that, God damn, Dirk Diggler just did her down today. How am I going to live up to that expectation? I, I, geez, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think me personally. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can handle it. I don't care how beautiful uh, she is, how thick she is, because that'll be on my mind every day. And the same goes for these IG chicks, these quote unquote IG models. I understand guys would be like, well, yeah, she's coming home with me. I got that. Yada, yada, yada. But how do you feel with all these guys coming at her in her comment session talking about, I wish I was with you. I got $10,000 to give you and all like that. I mean, the only thing that I can see you doing is playing the pimp part. 
Yeah, I'm taking the money and bringing it back home to my guy. <sighs> well, I can under you know what? I can understand IG uh, models, but I'm talking about actually in the business models because now in 2023, I'm sure they're not commanding the kind of money that that OG corn stars commanded back in the day. Like back in the day, some of your top corn stars was commanding up to at least 2,000 a video. And you know there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos out there with, with that particular corn star on the box. But now everything is so accessible online over the internet, you just can't command that kind of money. Hell, the, you, you got corn sites just rolling up doing amateur stuff just giving somebody a bottle of liquor and then they'll just dig them down right there in the back of the car just to get it on video and they did all that for a, a ten dollar twenty dollar bottle of liquor or forty dollars you know it all changed it's all the same it just moved to the web just like my man said, pimping ain't dead. It just moved to the web. That's it. But everybody that's moved to the web is not commanding that kind of money that OGs, females back in the day, were commanding. So, so is this all for clout? Is it? I I mean I I'm I'm tend to believe it is because this this young lady right here I'm I'm really I mean I'm I'm sorry but I'm really having a hard time believing that she even came down with a STI. Maybe she did. If she did, I I, I hope it's I hope it it could be cleared up. If not, I'm 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 sorry for the situation and the issue that she's about to go through in life with this STI but uh, if not if not it was all for all for clout all for attention because again like I said with TikTok it's all about attention I, I don't see anything else with this app I don't see anything may, maybe a handful of of diamonds that you may come through you know a couple of tiktok make me brought it uh tiktok uh i i saw how to make food on tiktok i met some friends on tiktok or whatever the case but to me it's all about attention seeking on this app i can't see nothing else but i could be wrong and if so let me know in the comments below Listen. Hot.